What's up, Square Pimp Brigade? On this episode from BET MTV, we have comedian Osama Siddiqui. He's here to discuss uh, getting in li- and I love you from your dad taking old school stand up co- comedy, dating a Bengali and brown girls, religion, sex, and being authentic to the core. That's right. It was a fun one, man. I love uh, Osama. Uh, and plus, we talk a little bit Corona stuff that always gets in there. We go old school. And also, here's the thing, guys uh, we're going to continue, we're going to do our best to continue broadcasting. Uh, but we could use your support once we set up the Patreon. But also, uh, the one thing you can do if you really want to help us out, follow our, all our social media, by the way, at Don, at the Dante Nero, at Harry Turjanian, at Andre D. Thompson. Uh, we're posting all our stuff there because we're not going to be performing for a while. Uh, but also, leave us a five-star review. That helps us out. You know, uh, it, it helps get the word out on the show, and it helps other people find the show and makes us more popular and helps get the word out and... Uh, uh, and if you leave a five star review on iTunes, we may read it on the air. I have uh, one here. Uh, the Deer Hunter is back, carrying the torch for Patrice O'Neill, as well as showing you, uh, sh- giving you more wisdom, giving us more wisdom. Thank you. That's from uh, from Dizzle, and uh, thank you so much. Shout out Dizzle. Yeah, and thank you for supporting the show. And uh, you know we're gonna do our best to get it out there. So uh, just enjoy it. You think you know about relationships, but you're wrong. Listen, there's no magic bullet. I'm teaching life skills. You sick? You need medicine. It don't always taste good. Nah. But it'll get you better. You, you, you need this medicine. Yeah. It ain't gonna always taste good. But this is what you need. Men and women, bottom line, we need to have the conversation. Your partner wants to give up control. But only if you know how to drive. This is about being the best you you could ever be, whoever you are. I don't care if you're a man, a woman, LGBTQ, space alien. I admit, Harry, he's good at what he does, Scott Gary. I don't care. I'll teach a hedgehog how to Shout out to Manuin. You mean by Good at what he does, goddammit. You don't have to listen to me, but you're wrong. Listen, I know I'm great. And I know you're thinking, Dante, there's no way I could be like you. But you could be me, you know why? Because you know who I was before I was me? I was you! You man school 202. Better hear what I've got to say because you won't get it again. I'm not an alpha male. I'm not a beta male either. I'm just a better man. Better man. Well, put your happiness first, because if you don't, they won't. Ah, what's going on, GYBB? Get your balls back. WWDD, what would Dante do? The sexual revolution is being podcasted, and I love this song. This is a great song. Shit, we need something. We needed this. We needed this, kids. Got gunshots. Here we go. Here we go. That is. We don't give a fuck. Harry, how you doing, doing baby? Doing great. Ready to rock and roll? I'm doing great, man. I'm happy to be here. Out of the house. Out of the house, on the, and we in the in the in the bunker. Week, what feels like week seventeen. Yeah, I think it's week, only ten days so far. Two days. Yeah, I don't. I have no clue. It feels really like it's been months. Almost trying to shut the city down. Yeah, I don't um, know when this is. Uh, whenever we release this, I don't know at what phase we're at next. We don't know. We got armed guards. The, the we the might zombies. all be dead. The zombies should be down by then. Uh, we got a special guest today. Um. This dude, funny dude, man, funny dude. I don't say that lightly. You know that, right? That's Everybody true. knows that. I don't. I don't say that lightly. This dude, Comedy Central, fucking with him heavy. Um, I'm fucking with him real heavy now, yo. Uh, give it up for Osama Siddiqui, yo. What up? What up? Oh, oh yeah. 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 That is a great. When yeah. did we start doing that? What? The boat horn. Uh, that was that, that was that was we said it was Mara's pussy. No, 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 not us. I mean, just as humanity. Oh, the the air horn or yeah, the bullhorn? The, the air horn. Oh, that's been that's. Like Ruzella we... was the first one, right, for that World Cup. That's that, been that going point. on for years. But that was when I think Drake also came out with his air horn. Yeah, was that, it Drake? Who it was no. Drake. It was. It doesn't mean nothing to y'all. That that song, whatever. That was nah, the air. Horn. That was the air horn. Nah, nah, the Nemo. You, he, we know. It, you they use they use the air horn in dance hall. Years ago, oh, Jesus. fucking like Elephant Man and Buju Bantan and <laughs> uh, Ninja. You're they, a, any they old reference. Da, 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 they used horn? to use okay. the air horn and dance all reggae, like hardcore, mm. like like Chapani Mike. 
reggae music. Any, any old reference I can think of, I realize you can go older. Oh, you know yeah, I'm, I'm like, no, 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 it's Drake. It's the <laughs> oldest thing I can think of. And you're like, in 1925. It's thousands it. of years. So dope. The ancient okay. Egyptians. <laughs> Some, you got to gotta check Sam, uh, Sam out on, on, on stage. He's, he's dope. He's, he's dope. I'm really... Because he, he's one of those dudes I, I feel like got that old school spirit. Mm. Like fun, where funny means fun, it's funny every, means not, something. Not every, it's something. It means everything. It means everything. I, I yeah, think. Not uh, everybody. I think it's like I, I was in the last group actually. Yeah. Before the pre TikTok. How long have you been doing it? Uh, eight years, but like five years. Yeah, in New York. that's like Andre, yeah. Andre, you like it's right, all eight, right. nine Thompson's years. Thompson's my guy. I love that guy. Thompson. Uh, oh yeah, Andre, Andre Thompson. Thompson. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, uh, Eagle, one of my best yeah, yeah, boys. Yeah, those dudes came up yeah. watching the Killers. These are the same same crew. You yeah. know, Alex Babbitt. These are my guys oh, yeah. that I grew, that I grew up with. Oh, that's your dude. Like my class. Yeah. Oh, I didn't Eagle's like my best boy. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Eagle came on and did the show. Yeah, yeah. He's my guy. Yeah, they all they all call get, me they all call me uncle um, OG or, you know I get I get I get those old terms that not offense those old but not offensive terms right right um, they call me Ock I'm like I don't work at your bodega bro <laughs> <laughs> yo Ock Ock short for Ahmed <laughs> that's what I think I love that. all black dudes call the call them Ock which yeah. I think is short for Ahmed yeah, yeah, yeah I think. Yeah. My favorite uh, bodega story of the guys who got upset with the uh, Macanu. Oh, so too. What is this? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I think they were, uh, they might have been Fousey. But they, yeah. they, they, when I was a kid, there was a, like a bodega and we still, and, and they used to go, mm, I, you, my friend, you are Makanut, which was <laughs> to them. So somebody's called in and said it means mixed, but it's kind of terminology for being gay. It, it's Arab for mulatto, Do who's you know also it, gay. You yeah. know what I mean? It's, oh, yeah, it, so it is Makanut. It, it's like a gay moron type thing. You know what I'm saying? Oh, so wow. it's so because uh, so I wasn't making it. No, no, no. I wasn't making it up. It, it's not like you're gay, gay. It just means like because Indians and brown people, we we, we would like efficient. Slams. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't just call you a fag. We gotta call you like a fag who doesn't wash up after. <laughs> you know, like we gotta go double for one because we don't got time. Be homophobic, you know? <laughs> homophobic, and like a double down and ableist. And, you dis- know? <laughs> and disorganized. Yes. This guy's gay and disorganized. Not yeah. only are you gay, yeah. <laughs> but you also are not cleanly. Yeah, <laughs> you're a dirty man who does not love his mother. It's yes. like whoa, whoa. Yeah, I don't shower, but I love me madre. You know. Yeah. Yeah. We we go hard like that. Okay. My, my right. the worst thing you can call someone in, in brown culture if you're Muslim is shuwa bacha. That's the hardest thing. Shuwa means pig. Shuwa bacha means son, right? Pig. So you're saying son, pig, of son of a pig. Yeah. And we're Muslim. Can eat pork. So uh, calling your someone the son. A pig. Your father's a pig, and you're the son of that pig. And you eat your own <laughs> disgusting that body. That means you're Ugh. you're always unclean. You're, you're always, always unclean. You're constantly wow. in your own shit. The, because give me that you're again. Shuled bacha. Shuled bacha. Ooh, you gotta hit, hit the cha. Shuled bacha. You gotta bounce off the bacha. ch. Bacha. Shur. Shur. S H O O U Umla Shur. Shur. Can you shur. give me a little bit of your pops? I don't, I don't, I'm not. I never ask comics to do bits or anything, but I. I love when people, fucking of all ethnicity, my ethnicity included, <laughs> just when you break down just the the dad and the I mom. Could, I could do Harry's father. Oh, yeah. Your like, mother's the devil. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's <laughs> accurate. Dad? My, my, my dad would come in here and be like, Dante, stop doing this comedy, okay? <laughs> You're like older than him probably. And he's like, yeah. Dante, I can tell you right now, go into stocks. <laughs> yeah. like, he's still, just trying to stop everyone from doing comedy. Still he, would he's be so like, not about you it. Have to, I don't see a future. Listen, You're, listen, Dave Chappelle. Dave. You really need to <laughs> stop doing this. Dave, can I call you Dave? <laughs> anyway, listen. You're good, but... You're, you're so smart. Yeah. Stop doing this. <laughs> was he supportive of this? Uh, my dad was not. He now he like, okay. American immigrant dads. Uh, they start Until off. Until you start getting some fame. It's it's not even that. It's like it's like they hate it forever, uh-huh. and then one day they become your manager. You okay. know what I'm saying? That's <laughs> right, how they, right, there's right. no. That's how they show love. They don't say I love you. Uh-huh. I support. That's not in their vocabulary. Right, right. Come out with an Excel sheet. <laughs> yes. Is this what they, you're doing wrong? They, right. The one. The, the day he was like. You should do more pilots. I'm like, oh, you love me now. Yeah. You love what I'm doing. Because you can't say that, but you did some research at, at night, yeah. came back. Have you heard of Maria Bamford? She's, what did she do? A lot of yeah. independent work. Why yeah. don't you work with her? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Why don't you work with, with Emo Phillips? I'm like, that. Why don't you do more movies? <laughs> yes. Does he still have the thing that all parents have? Is Have you tried the Tonight Show? Yes. Yes. Yeah. He's like, you should get on Letterman. Get yeah. a Letterman. He's like, I don't think he's on the air anymore. I, I think Pop. he's dead. He's, yeah. He loves me. He loves me he now. Loves he loves me now. now is your opportunity. Yeah, it's very, it's very never straight. It's very indirect. There's uh, never the I love never you. Never and I love you. You wow. too, right? Like the Iranian culture. 
Uh, the Armenian culture is that yeah. my dad is all right with it. Never about the career as much, but he, he's a little bit different. His dad was so fucking strict. Yeah. Every once in a while, there's one dad that yeah, yeah, is so fucking you intense. You know, that's how hard they are as Armenians. They can go through a whole genocide and still not hug their kids. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. They are intense. We bro. lost relative in the fucking <laughs> and genocide. I still can- and I still feel the uncomfort between my grandpa and my dad. Jesus. His Jesus. mom died. It was just him and my dad. And still. <laughs> he, they I saw think, your grandma get beheaded. They're like, yeah. I can't. That's, don't, I don't, be a, don't be a bitch. I don't think he got an I love you until the first Gulf War. <laughs> it was when my grandfather gave my dad an I love But he gave me. My grandfather was like a super Yeah, they super do the grandchildren. They'll, it's different. Yes. It's different. That's like their way out. Like they're, I mean, Maybe they just get old. What do you think that yeah. is? That they yeah. finally get well, old? They get soft. They get soft. Do you yeah, think it's just old soft. age and the hormones yeah. and the estrogen changing? It's, you get soft, dude. You just lose the fight, man. Yeah. You know, because my know. grandfather's super sweet, but I can see how he <laughs> and my dad. <laughs> dirt bag, no, right? but I'm saying I can <laughs> see how he and my dad. No, even now. Even it's now, a little right. bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What well, I think, what I remember the first time my mom was hitting me and it didn't hurt. I remember that in my in my life. Yeah. She was going all the combos, yeah. all the sandals, <laughs> the old tricks. Brought out the ro- the doling, the row pit, low rolling yeah. pin for the yeah. you know. <laughs> brought out boxes of shit. Even stabbed me a couple times. I didn't feel shit. You know? I was like, you're you done. It was, it's, it's over. It's over, son. But I I kind of I don't want to make her feel bad, so I was still like, no. Nah, yeah, yeah. So now you're doing it for her favor. I'm you're doing like, it for I her. Ruin. She's got twi- nothing left. It's twisted, bro. It's twisted. Yeah, I, I remember the first time. Uh, that I knew I could beat my dad. <laughs> I remember I could. Be, I remember when I knew I could be. We you were used, three, probably. We, well, we used to play fight all the time. Like one time, like we, I mean, we used to play fight, fight. Like I would come. Like I remember I came at him. He fell back on yeah. the, on the bed and then double foot kicked me, <laughs> oh. like in the chest. Yes. And I went back and cracked. The, the, the drywall like I was <laughs> sitting in the drywall right? this is like a kung fu like a, a Quentin Tarantino Fighter movie Turbo. Yeah. Uh, we were so like, did we you get to... up and wipe the blood from your mouth and, <laughs> and look at it and smile <laughs> uh, <laughs> it was like it was like I mean he like he would do shit like I would I would be boxing with him and wrestling him and getting the best of him and yeah. he would grab the like this when you had a landline phone he grabbed the the Bakelite receiver the that's what they make the plastic yeah. with Take the, the 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 receiver, wrap it around my oh, neck yeah. twice, and oh. then hit me in the head with it, and then yeah. run into the kill uh, Bill. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Yes. How old were you? Once I, my mom, my mom, I was like a teenager. Oh, yeah. so you were really he. The problem. See, here's the thing. The Sama was saying he reached an age where it no longer affected him. The problem is you were strong enough to fight back, so your dad had to start fighting dirty. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he, he had to do some Steven Seagal shit. We choked out with piano wire. I mean, we had so much fun. My mother <laughs> yeah. would be like, "Please." Stop your breaking the house up. We, I mean, it was it was the time I was talking about how me and my pops didn't get along. But that's the one time we did get along when we when you're actually hurting each other. Oh yeah, we, we used to fight, play fight all the that's time. So crazy. And I remember him. Uh, I took him. I swept him, and he hit the ground. Oh yeah. Right. And so this is an interesting thing about martial arts. Um, in order for you to get up, you need three points of contact. So if you watch MMA or whatever, mm-hmm. a guy will shift to his hip. His ankle or his foot, and then a hand, and then it'll mm-hmm. push up. But you gotta have at least mm-hmm. it's. You can do it with two points of contact, but you're very unstable. Sure. And so he he was on the ground. I swept him, and he went to get up, and he put his arm down. Yeah. And then I swept the hand. Who? My. And then so he fell, and then he tried to shift to the other side, and he put his foot up, and I swept the foot Ooh. out. Right. And he was Sad, just laying. This is there. crazy. You call him a bitch too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. And then, Christ. And then he, then he, then he got the two points of contact, and I just put my hand on his shoulder so he couldn't push up. Jesus. And he was just because I just started to understand balance. Woo! And he was, and he was, like, get the fuck, Jesus. get the fuck off me! And he got really mad, and I was like, whoa, whoa, I'm just. I was just Whoa! Playing. And then Yo, we, you, you Captain Phillips him? Then we, then we <laughs> yeah, I am the captain now. <laughs> and, that was, and that was the last time we had a play fight. That's crazy, you, man. And then you pulled out your dick and peed on it. <laughs> oh, you beast. Just you, for good measure. You <laughs> shamut bacha. Shamut shure bacha. Shure bacha. That, that does sound like something Fujita would say to power up in D- Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> <laughs> shure bacha. They, man, those dudes used to go. 
they they would be behind the, the counter and yeah. they were like, hey, I can tell you, you out of my canoe. <laughs> and we would go, you my canoe. That's Arabic, man. That's, yeah. It's like an Arabic. Would go, uh-huh. you are yeah. my canoe. And he was like, no, no my friend. Like bad man. You, you are my, my canoe. canoe. I was like, you are fucking my We didn't even know what it was. We were like, you, you are my canoe. Know, you knew it wasn't good. <laughs> we knew just by the song. The way he said it yeah. was like, you are my canoe. No, motherfucker. You my canoe. <laughs> my canoe. But you dude, I mean, they're seeing the worst croc section of human society, you know? They're going to be a little racist. <laughs> Whatever it is, Get a man. bodega owner's tough game. Oh, yeah. It's a yeah. tough game. And, and bodega owners, I, I like the Arab ones because they'll hit on anybody, yo. They'll hit on like a chick who's on crack and frothing. Yeah, and like, like, hey, what are you doing? Girl, how you doing? <laughs> She's like, ah. She's like, okay, all right. I see you. Oh, I see you. You awake. You're a little nervous <laughs> around me. I see you die. <laughs> Burning so, the arms. So, like, so we was, um, was watching, I was watching Osama. And I was like, yo, this kid, I, I, it's funny that you said that you came from that old, that oh, last. I love it. I love, I love the kill, man. We talked about this last yeah, time yeah. in the car. The kill, I think, is funny because everyone who doesn't care about the kill now looks up to people who only care about the kill. So they'll be like, that guy's amazing, but not want to do anything to get there. Oh, so you get the props because you, that's all you give a fuck right, about. Right, right. Yeah. So when, I'm, when I saw people like you and people like fucking Aaron Burr when I first came to the city, people like, you know, just the killers, yeah, I'd be like, yo, I'm trying to kill as hard as that. Now, that's what yeah. every day the purpose was. Now these kids are looking at me like, you're amazing, and they don't want to do anything to get there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's, yeah. that's where it's well, shifted. Well, because it's, it's a hard it's work. It's hard work it's to pain, get there. And you may not have, you, know, you don't always have it. The, the juice. There's certain dudes that don't have that. They don't have it. It's funny because yeah. Osama was saying he when you, the first. <laughs> oh God! He said the first. It was going, first kill. The first kill I saw in New York was was Dante. Oh yeah. And I walked in. He's like, uh, "What's your Mexicans?" That joke you're doing. Oh yeah yeah, 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 yeah. And then I was like, "Yeah." And then I saw that joke nine other places from nine other comics. I'm like, "Whose joke is this?" I'm like, "Okay, Dante." Really? Is Dante. Remember, I, I people were stealing your energy when yeah. I first, five years ago when I came here. Really? People were doing the sit down. Oh, yeah, and yeah, then yeah. do Ooh, yeah, like I dirty crowd work yeah. energy that you were doing. Uh, and I remember seeing that. I was like, is like, is is everyone inspired by this one guy? <laughs> I thought you were the most famous comic in New York. Uh, and then all. I realized you were just a guy, you know. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, unfortunately. But, but you affected me that much yeah. in, that, in that first, and I told you about this. Yeah. And um, and it's one of those things where I came wanting to kill. I came from Dallas, yeah. uh, wanting to kill and wanting right. to. Go as far, hard as possible, knowing Godfrey. Hearing legends about Godfrey, yeah, yeah. not even know, hearing the kill. I just heard legends like, "Oh, this guy's the hardest killer in the fucking world." Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so I wanted that that life, and I I went through all the pain, but it wasn't pain for me because yeah, I was yeah. like at the end of the tunnel, it was it. Yeah. me going closer to that to that like ability to wield, feeling like Gandalf on stage, yeah. fucking spells. That's like when I saw Patrice. Yeah, and they didn't. People didn't really get it. Like, what? They they didn't get it, dog. And I I was tapping people like, yo, you, you don't. See, you, how, what what year was it? How, how many years was in? Was the it? thing is, two thousand two, two thousand three. Okay. Patrice would. It was very odd. It was like how what an animal plays with its prey before it kills. <laughs> yeah, like yeah. You would see Patrice do double sets because he, he would never finish on time. So yeah, they just yeah, start yeah, booking. Yeah. Him Harry just sets. called the black dude an animal. All right, you yeah, heard yeah, that, yeah, Beige yeah, Philip? Yeah, yeah. You hear this? Wow. But he would, because what he would do is you'd get the sense like he would just be playing around yep. with the audience for a little bit. Yep. And yeah. then when he had them where he wanted it, then he would start killing. Then, he, oh. and you then could, he would go he into do bits. it whenever he wanted to do it. But he wouldn't always do yeah. it. It's yeah. very odd. Yeah. Well, I think it's the level of confidence. If, you yeah. have, if you're that confident in who you are, with not even a sliver yeah. of you can get in through here. Yeah, and you're that quick and that smart. That's a dangerous. Because if you yeah, were that confident and was, dumb, oof, nothing would happen. I, they didn't <laughs> get it. They they just thought really? he was talking about eating pussy. What are you? What? Like, do even his the peers above him was like, ah, he's just dirty. He's just blue. He's. A, I can't and, even. And I was like, imagine. And I, I remember the first thing I saw him do was that uh, I don't know if you ever seen him do the Pepsi Cola rapist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. So he did the Pepsi, and I was like. That's a brilliant bit. The Pepsi Cola. And he was still doing, that's when he was still doing bits. <laughs> right, Like, it right. was It was a bit. Yeah. It wasn't even fluid. And then I watched him evolve to this kind of organic yeah. thing where it's just, you knew he could do the, the bit. It would, never was the same. Yeah. And then I was like, oh, I got to, I, I, I want to get, because I was smart enough to see it where other guys couldn't see it, but I didn't have the stage time or the skill right, set right. to do it, so I just was trying to. And then my life was cr- way crazier than his. <laughs> and I was like, so when I talk about my, when I learn this, yeah. 
it's going to be a whole different thing because I've learned, you know, my life, I have my life to pull from, you know? Have you written a book yet, bro? I'm, I'm bro, working on it. Okay. Yeah. It's time to talk about this shit, dude. Anyway. Yeah, yeah. Because you, you talk talking about your pimp life, and I'm like, I, if this is not put to page, it's yeah, going to be a problem. Yeah, you know? yeah. It's... But that's the thing is, like, I think what happens is a lot of people try to take the act outs and take the, maybe the uh, ribald comedy, the one that's dirtier, try to make it as a lower form. Yeah, it's not. But here's the thing. I think the smartest people I ever met in my life have been the dirtiest people. Because they're honest. And been the loudest people. Because they yeah. know what the joy is. The yeah. joy is being loud and disgusting. Yeah. Not in being prim and proper. That's that's Or the, being prim and proper. It, it, the point is it's so... it's Be it's, real. It's authentic. Be real. It's authentic. Be and real. if it's authentic... So you, you have guys who who will do comedy and do, way, do well. Mm-hmm. But there's guys who are so authentic and they... And just like I always say, this like open it up for him. I would, com- people would leave the showroom, and there would be, there would always be people that hated him, mm-hmm. which is always important. If everybody yeah, likes right, you, yeah. then nobody loves you. Sure. And then there were people who would go, man, yo, yo, I'm, a, <laughs> yo, 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 man, yo, I don't, yo, you. <laughs> They didn't even know, and he and he was he was so uncomfortable with the admiration. He would be like, "Oh man, thank, thank, thank you, know, they had a good time, good, good." And then he'd move him on because he couldn't, he right. didn't like the accolades. But that that authenticity <laughs> was something that you learn, and so it's interesting that you know that authenticity was the thing that made the difference, right. the truthfulness in it, and and even the truthful. Like there's less truthfulness in a in a and, and and Harry might argue with me about this, but okay. I would what say <laughs> what uh, I don't think that a a rigidly written a, a bit is as authentic as it should be because you if you there's you have mood swings you're in a different place at a different time and so if you're just going through the 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 A B C this first punchline that first punch it's inauthentic to who you are because you're not taking into consideration I don't know. it's hard because uh Geraldo was the other guy I loved a lot yeah and I liked Geraldo oh, yeah. was and heavy. I grew up watching those right, guys right and like she, and I was like oh what the lucky. fuck you know I was lucky enough to work with him a couple times and the thing about Geraldo was he was definitely present in the moment but the bits were structured like songs very Carlin-esque in that the bit had a reason and he wrote everything out let me ask you something do and you think that Greg was stronger than Patrice oh god that's hard I don't want to do oh this, this hurts yeah yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> it's almost two different sort of styles but the thing is Greg's Greg was more consistent than Patrice, but that was also purposefully so yeah. because yeah. he would play one song uh, after the other, basically, right, as right, far right. as his bits I, went. I, I they, they and come... they were so good. They were so well written. The way he would kill yeah. is just timing, bam, 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 whereas Patrice would kind of slow down the pace and then yeah, and he, then hit you with something so massive. Sure, sure. It was so consistently inconsistent. Right. Now, I'll tell you why I think, what, what, why I would say Patrice was better because uh, – so the the the, the there becomes a, the rhythm of it, it to 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 stick to the the script sure right, yeah is a i believe it's a lower form of comedy now it's still i would agree super high but yes. we're talking about that i mean i i think when you're off stage when the mind should rule Right, you're, when you're off stage, working the bits, working the angles, yeah. mind rules. The moment that first foot touches the stage, the mind should be gone. It should be hard. Every joke should come from enough. the set. So I think Greg Giraldo and Patrice came from the heart on stage. Yeah, I think, and they both were very cerebral off. Yeah, I, yeah. I I don't think they're different comics in any no, way. No, no. I think Patrice was better hmm. because he was a little smarter with his comedy and a little more in tune with who he was. Yeah, I I think. But I also yeah, think it was because he was so yeah. he was it was so fluid and so organic. It's all here, right? I, and I think where we, Greg yeah. Greg had a he right. had a eleven by seven like he walked around with an eleven by seventeen legal pad, and it was it was right. it was and but they're fabulous jokes, yeah. right? right. It's an interesting, but thing. maybe like Greg to a certain extent wanted to show you how smart he was, and Patrice said things because he had to say them because he what he was is a need to say them. See, Patrice said to me. I remember him saying to me, stop being clever. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, what are you? And he goes, I go, stop being clever. He says, yeah. you're already smart. 
And I didn't understand what he did. Because he used to... He talked like Confucius. Different. He didn't even know what the fuck he was talking about until you got to the point right, right. where you could understand Jesus, it. Man. You know? And And what I realized is somebody who's being clever, they're trying to prove to people that yeah. they're smart. Yeah. And somebody who's smart says profound things in simple ways so that people can... Because they want to teach. They also have love for the people. It, that's the point. Cleverness does not involve love for the crowd. <laughs> right. It's I, a love for yourself. Yeah, I love for yourself. Yeah. And look how smart I am. You know, Look how cool right. I am. Right. If you walk away from someone, the true charismatic person would make the other person feel smarter yeah then that's what true chariz- charisma is if, yeah. if you're like oh that guy's amazing yeah that's a good point then that guy it makes himself amazing if you're like that guy makes me feel amazing you're like, all this, this, this guy this guy, i want to hang out with him all the time soft energy so patrice had that ability bro <laughs> to was, like shit on you and then make you feel like a million bucks yeah, it was like, but he also had the energy to make, destroy make you, like yeah. shit, make you yeah, feel yeah, like yeah. shit oh, yeah, can he, i ask you a question okay yeah, yeah. actually I, I always wonder about this in my life and you're sure. the perfect guy to ask yeah. so when he died yeah I remember seeing a pretty vicious quote by Lisa Lampanelli, like, yeah, he was a piece of shit to me. I'm glad he's gone. Is, I, never met, I never met Lisa. <laughs> is she really bad? She was a dirtbag. She was a dirtbag. She was a And dirt so bag. Patrice knew that and was attacking her. Well, because she was so inauthentic. Right. And and so she she called herself the queen of mean. And Someone then, came at her. And no, yeah. here's one. Just So yeah. this is a story. She goes, she says, um... Hey, I want to hang out with you guys. And he was, and he was like, bitch, I don't want to hang out with you. <laughs> right. Jeez. Right? And she went in the bathroom in the cell and oh, cried. Jesus. Right? But she, there was a chick named Rose who started with me okay. who attached herself to Lisa. And she used to edit her stuff and sat and she used to sit in the room and watch Lisa and edit everything. Yeah. And it was almost like, oh, I'm going to help you with your career. But... Never helped Rose. <laughs> okay. Lisa, I did the cover. Oh, right, okay. I did the cover for Lisa's album where, you know, the Janet Jackson with the hand over the tits, yeah. and I held her big yeah, soggy no. tits <laughs> and then got a ticket, and she was supposed to pay my, my parking ticket, never paid my parking ticket. <laughs> and then she called me a nigger in what front of the, in front of the, 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 the comic strip. So Jesus. I'm in front of she's in with her fans, and she was blowing up. So and she goes, <laughs> there's my nigger right there. <laughs> and I'm like, bitch, I'll punch you in your fucking mouth. Don't ever say that to me again. <laughs> but she wow. used to get away yeah. with it because yeah. it was all, oh, this is my character. Fuck your right, character. Right, yeah, right. And so, but Patrice had smashed her and he constantly smashed her because she was so in out there. Mm. But he didn't do it. It wasn't really wasn't malicious, but she was so grossly insecure that okay, when but, he took it personally. In all fairness, I will say, not to defend Lisa Lampanelli at all right, right. because I don't, whatever, I'm not disagreeing with any of that. But Patrice also, he could be very sweet, and he shit on people who are assholes. Yeah. But he also shit on people who, yeah. for no reason at times, <laughs> due to his own insecurity. Sure, sure, he sure, was mean sure. to a lot oh, of people. Sure. Sure. But he, Not me. But, I didn't experience right. it, but I also stayed away he was, knowing. He didn't hate him like that. Yeah. They were, even, when they didn't, even when they didn't like him, they still respected him. But this is the thing. Uh, Lisa Lampanelli, Patrice and Lisa Lampanelli was doing the road, and Patrice was supposed to be at Lisa's. That she was supposed to do this radio show because Patrice was in the same town she was in, and they and and Lisa asked them to swap them because he she he was like I hate I hate Patrice yeah. like I want to go first and she was a bigger draw then sure, and sure. so he he so when Patrice got there he was like oh what's the beef you know they wanted what's the beef between you and Lisa yeah. she was like she wanted to get out of the building before you came and he goes he was like I don't. Like he didn't, fuck, he, he didn't give a fuck, fuck about her at right. all. And he was like, fuck. she was, she ran out of here, and then, and he goes, look, dog, I don't want to be a guy that some chick is running from me, like because it, you, you I, know what it is? It's, it's like New York and Philly. Philly's like, yo, fuck New York. But here's the thing, and New York's like, who's Philly? He, yes. right. <laughs> right. he, he apologized to her on air, right? Because he wasn't even aware that he had affected her in that way, and he was like, I don't want to be the kind of guy that people are actually. Running from At what me. point was that, though? Was that towards the back end? It was. He got softer, right? He got softer. And, no, it and wasn't energy? that. No. It was just that he didn't realize. Like we snapped on each other relentless. Yeah. Like, like if, it, like people will come in here with me, you and Andre will be fucking around, right? And they'll be like, Ooh. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, you know, we'll be, we'll be like, uh, the only reason my like, father died was because, yeah. because he wanted to get away from you, and he like, was gay too, and, bitch. Yeah. And he was like, and he and didn't wash like, either. So he, he, he and died of cancer, and and then we go. Yeah, he caught cancer because of you. Like, yeah, yeah. and then we just we laugh it off and because then we start we know, the show. Yeah, right. yeah. so <laughs> so it was. I think it was Man. that too. It was that that level that they would go right, at they were messing around, and yeah. then and they expected a lot of times. But there also the was again that whole thing, which is very glorified. That table yeah, yeah, was yeah. also people genuinely 
being mean and making up for the fact that oh, they were shit on in oh, high school. I, I, I feel like if oh, one sure. of them said, I love you in the middle, everyone would start crying at the yeah, table. Sure. <laughs> Mid-roast. Yeah, hey, I man, Jim Norton, the... I love you. Just, what? what? Everybody what, what'd you say? <laughs> loved each other. Yeah. I remember, yeah. but then there was guys like, like Ben Bailey... Try to oh. fight Patrice what? one time. Uh, cash cab, bro. And yeah, yeah. and uh, and, Jeez, and man. fucking. That's uh, a little bit dicey. I could, ben Bailey could be a he, psychopath. He's, he's a, intense. He's, not, he's out of his mind. Yeah. And uh, I love him to death, but he's out of his fucking You're mind. You're in a car for that long. And uh, <laughs> 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 You're in a car. You know what I'm saying? Uh, he'd hate that. Uh, Greg, yeah. Greg Rogel called him a pedophile. <laughs> and uh, oh, who else wow. said DC This is crazy. Ben, DC Benny and him almost got into a fight. Jesus. Like, mm-hmm. Just from the teasing and stuff. So a lot, well, of, a lot of guys you... would fuck around, and then yeah. you'd run into somebody who's ready to go, and oh, yeah, then yeah. the fucking around kind of oh, yeah, stopped. Yeah, yeah. But, that but, happened to Mark Maron a lot back in the day, too, when he was before he fixed his fucking shit together yeah, I know where he a bad was... response from Mark Mar- like yeah treat- why do you think that uh, is yeah, see yeah, Mark yeah. Maron the <laughs> thing about Mark Maron back in the day was he, knew who the fuck with. he right. wasn't fucking with you but Dimitri Martin he was very vocal with oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, the way I, you bring I think, your skateboard yeah. bro I, I, I think anxious Jewish dudes know exactly who to fight yeah, and who to yeah, yeah, fight yeah, yeah. they're very it's never yeah, I'll get you and then I'll get you it's never Dante or Jimmy Martinez <laughs> but you know Jimmy Martinez but, yeah, and that's my second, that's my that's, that's also it's funny Mark Marin my top three all time comics really I love Mark Marin as a comics, comedian yeah. Marin yeah. Colin and Patrice they're all very authentic you're yeah, right you that's that, that kind of through line very all different guys. but very authentic in, really uh, interesting, are, interesting yeah yeah yeah, yeah. That, interesting. that was my thing I mean you know um you know like I, watching Dave evolve now is a whole nother thing but Oh, watching, yeah, but yeah. Marin and That's those how? guys, yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Dave Chappelle, Marin. Oh, Chappelle, Chappelle, yeah, yeah. Chappelle, but yeah. watching Marin, especially back in the day, Marin, yeah. was, was still really great. But it's but for the time before everyone was kind of, there weren't man. a lot of people who were able to do that style back then. Yeah, he was one of the few dudes that yeah. they could pull who that could off. And Colin it. was always writing. Yeah, but that it's funny that authenticity. And you know, yeah. we were talking about women and stuff like that, and, and it's just the like, on, and we were yeah. riding in the car. And I, and it was like I was like, yeah, it's the authenticity. Yeah. You you can't you if you fake it, you they know you fake. Women it. can see it better. They're they're more versed in it than they we are. They have to be. They have to be because they don't want to get raped. They don't want to get murdered. So it's one yeah, and murdered of course. Yeah. <laughs> but it's like or both or both same time. Yeah, yeah. But it's like the, and true comp when you first get it, and you first start walking out on the street with it, you're like, oh oh my god, this is different than what was going on a year ago. Cause you start seeing it in the way people interact with you. Yeah, like you give, your, they give you as much respect as you give yourself. Yeah, that's the world. Yeah, well, you know? well, it, it's an interesting. We, we, you know, I say this all the time. I said you meet people, and they don't know you. Yeah, and so how do they know you? How do they know how to treat you? You tell them. So we, we, we're a lot of times we're we're way more present than we think we are yeah. because. You, you you have to so it's like you know like even like I met you and we, I think I met you at the barbershop sure, first sure. and I didn't know who you were yeah. and you kind of knew who I and I was yeah. like but I, we was just cool it's all, yeah it's all right, good right. Yeah. and then then I saw you again yeah. and then I saw you and then I saw you act and I was like oh he's funny yeah. you know because if he wasn't funny I would have been like I don't, I, I don't want to know that from your energy like your energy kind of uh, takes the whole room over so if I was bombing with you I could I would feel that heat <laughs> I'd be like oh god ah ah you know hear the skull alive in your ear <laughs> Yeah, I you know, will, it's funny because you go and because you know, Aaron will hack it up, <laughs> and Aaron will be on stage, and I'm in the room, and Dante, he'll go, how could you? He goes, Dante, look at Dante <laughs> shaking his head, and look at this horse shit he's doing. He just says it, and then because yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm sitting there like, mm, really, Dante, you're huge, Dante. <laughs> oh God, I, I appreciate that old guard. I really do. I yeah. and I, I like like. When someone sees you for the first time, I'm a scrawny little brown dude. You know, you don't really see anything besides this scrawn. So, and the part of the, an Indian in comedy is also like, or brown guy in comedy, I'm Bengali. But we're not known in the scene yet. There's no network of browns that is huge yet. So when you come into like a, you know, the fucking hyena's den, yeah, yeah, yeah. you got to come with that much more energy and your, but will you yourself. But you'll get it. Yeah. You, do you, it, when, when it's real. Gotta, yeah. When it's real, I'll it's say good. That, I'll when, say that but if you're I, not in it, don't Dude, take it away. The one thing you. I noticed was the better your comedy got, also the better you started dressing. Because when you came into this fucking <laughs> oh, town, so poor. you were dressing like <laughs> an Indian kid that I grew up with in high school. Like I don't, I don't, I don't remember if this is exactly <laughs> it, but I just remember. Harry, black, how are you bringing up that shit, man? Black slacks. I'm gonna and connect sneakers. to my dad here. <laughs> 
<laughs> like, so you knew us. You knew him. I'd before. see him. I'd see. Yeah, we'd see yeah, each yeah, other yeah. periodically. I, I, I was very poor when I but came. But the in. weird part was he progressed comedically, yeah. but his dressing was still. I'm like, like he's got it. And then finally, it all clicked together. <laughs> I bought one hoodie, and I was like, "Are you like finally, my son? Finally, <laughs> you have like, a hoodie, my son." I was like, "Do I tell yeah, him? Because I, I can't I, tell." I, him. Get, I do get out. You know, I'm welcoming, but I'm like, "Yeah, yeah. are you funny?" I, I, I no, think but it's, it was funny. Yeah, yeah. Was I was funny. I was uh, very poor, dude. I had no money, uh, and so, so I was you like just had the clothes you grew up, dude. Because <laughs> yeah, yeah. when, when you get poor, you don't lose the clothes you have. Like you right, just, right. You, you still have. Your clothes don't disintegrate when you're I poor. I look at some photos from me from when I start. Yeah. I go and I go. What I was wearing a T-shirt with a logo and then a dress shirt over. I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck was and, I and doing? Like, here's the thing. You know, if I saw a dude like that, I'd be like, yo. What size you wear? <laughs> I'll be like, <laughs> not yours, Dante. <laughs> I gave you a shitload of shoes, right? You did. You gave me some, but your feet were too like. The but shoes how many you, pairs of shoes did I get? You? You I've gotten at least four or five pairs of shoes from you for sure. That's nice, and including many, a pair of four hundred dollar. How many could you have gotten? Oh, like, if, if, like I like I yeah. was cleaning out the old. Oh, you're very generous. It was yeah. like was just, well, I, was, I said all of these. You want these? Yeah. It was like I took a couple, but the, the size like, thirteen Stingray boots <laughs> didn't. Uh, hey, hey. You want, you want my skull rings? Yeah. So here you go. I said, what am I going to do with this, Dante? Aaron, when Aaron, Aaron was broke when he came from Canada, yeah, yeah. I gave him a, 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 no, a garbage very bag full of shirt, like, uh, like uh, what do you call the, the fucking yeah. T-shirts with the skulls and shit. The only person who's scared of you is someone who doesn't actually open their fucking eyes and yeah, look at you. Or yeah. hang out with them. Yeah, all. you're yeah, the yeah, nicest yeah, guy yeah. I know, literally. Or like, somebody dude. saw me ice pick somebody. Yeah. Oh, I, then, but then yeah, yeah, or, or did you killed their parents. <laughs> One of those two. Well, everyone around us knows, like, if you're beating up somebody, it's usually they've deserved it. <laughs> like, if you're <laughs> at a comedy club. you seen Dante beat somebody up? Uh, or rough somebody up? Yeah, I've seen him put, I've seen him put some hands on somebody, <laughs> but not... Punch somebody up. I, th- I forget who it was, but it was a, kind of just a grip. It was a quick grip. What happened? What happened? What, what, was I it don't deserve remember it? the. I just it was a fan or something that was getting a little too close, uh-huh. and Dante was like, yeah, you know. <laughs> like, no, nah, no, nah, we're cool. But that was the extent of it. I don't think it was it's any. Funny you asked that because it's funny when Greer was here. Yeah. And Greer starts, yeah, because I see you, uh, and I yeah. was like, how the fuck you? Yeah. I don't remember. No story. Did like, you see me from the pussycat? And I was like, I was like, you see me knock a dude out? Yeah. And he was like, nah, nah, you ain't knock him out, but you elbowed him, elbowed him in the face. And I was like, <laughs> but it was a, was it a fight? Yeah. He was like, nah, you elbowed him on him and he chilled. I go, that's not a story, dude. That's not a story. It's though. not a story. But you know, in it's the a comedy, story. That, that's how Dante says hi. club, yeah. it's a story. That's the most action that, that happens. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't count it's nothing you. unless the body is at least at 10 o'clock. You know oh, what I mean? Okay. Like, when I hit him, he's at 10 o'clock, then it's a story. Yeah, <laughs> fair enough. But, you know, you got to understand, it's a world where nobody does shit anymore. Right, right. Wait, you Dante didn't blog about this person? Yeah. You know, you actually threw a hand. It's That's you, powerful. And then I saw Luis Gomez shove somebody, uh, that blogger, and then I think Jimmy R- Martinez R- pushed Todd Berry down a flight of stairs. Yeah. I watch, I watch, uh, I watch Artie. Smack a dude in the mouth. Hey! Now I smack you in front of your girl, pussy. Oh! Uh, dude, our, our version of Dante Nero <laughs> is someone using the blue uh, at tag on yo, Facebook. Yo, yo. Oh, he tagged him out! Yeah. He's, he's like, I got a notification. <laughs> oh, fuck! That's our Dante. Ooh, the I, world but, is not. But, I was standing yeah. in front of, uh, and already, already got them long ass tall arms like you got them knuckle yeah. draggers. And so I'm fucking, I'm holding Artie yeah. back. He reaches around the dude, oh. around me, and smacks the dude. Now nah, I smack you in the face, pussy. Jesus Christ. Artie is a, uh, there's a couple of guys who are subtly, like every seven Sherrod, years. Sherrod, Sherrod Small. Rock, Sherrod will Sherrod, Sherrod. I've seen Sherrod, Sherrod angry Sherrod. before. I've seen I, him angry. Even no. when he's angry, he's not angry. He's like, pussy, let's go. And he'll smile, too. Manetta right? Lane. <laughs> right. <laughs> Manetta Lane. Come on here. And he'll have like nine voices. Sorry. <laughs> Manetta Lane. <laughs> Sherrod. You talking boss. Manetta Lane? <laughs> Manetta Lane. So, it's, you know, Manetta Lane's a, a block. <laughs> yeah. from the side right block. around the comedy cellar, a block away. <laughs> Manetta <laughs> Lane. Manetta Lane. <laughs> I seen him and, and Gary almost go at Gary it. Gelman? Well, I heard about this. He, he, he was like, some me, some, you know, Sherrod said something inappropriate. Yeah. And uh, so he was bigger. like, why don't you shut the fuck up? Jeez. Who, Gary? Gary? Gary said that. Well, Gary gets neurotic every once, oh, Gary's, every 10 seconds, Gary's, right? So Gary, you might have caught him on a neurotic moment. And, and Sherrod was like, Manetta Lane! <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. I hear you talking, you're not walking. He's naming different streets. Blinker! <laughs> McDougal! So, but <laughs> yeah, it doesn't that, happen enough. No. Uh, no, it doesn't. Because I, a lot of people... It, it, it shouldn't. No, I what? don't know. Who, who's I picking fights now? You no. know? But, I, but a lot of people talk. 
people the run, yeah, run, run their suck. Yeah. And the thing is, and like Mark Maron used to do in the day, yeah, yeah. unfortunately, they pick the, the targets that they think they can pick. And I think it's good every once in a while. I'm not saying every night. I'm saying once every couple of years, someone needs yeah, to, yeah. to get caught upside the that, head. That guy got so lucky. I mean, he's an amazing comic. He got so lucky at the end of his road. He just started a Ooh, podcast. Gas. Mark Maron? Mark oh, Maron. Oh, yeah, yeah. He was at the end friend. of his road. Yeah, yeah. He, he was like, uh, in a he bad was shape. The granddaddy. That, in this that, shit. And that, that first podcast was in, a, in Jeff Ross's car, yeah. just on a phone. And well, it's he like, had bro- done radio, too. So, yeah, he, I mean, he did yeah. it on Air America. So they, they had created a liberal. A liberal oh, kind of Rush Limbaugh right. thing, and it was him, Sam Cedar, Janine and Garofalo, Janine Garofalo, oh, all of them yeah. had Al Franken. Their, Al Franken had all these guys had a, yeah. and then that all went to shit because you know liberals don't Boom. support each other, <laughs> they but, don't like each other. But, the, but um, he was also another guy who was difficult at times to work with. Yeah, yeah. But when he started the podcast, the whole game changed. But yeah. but the thing was, he was always really, really authentic. I remember this um. He was Man. definitely neurotic on and off the stage, he, in all fairness. Yeah, and I remember at times. His, How do you look at somebody that, because like Marin, I've seen a lot of his stuff, and he is really, really authentic. I don't think yeah. he's probably the most real person on stage. I don't Tremendous think he's going. Tremendous performer. Absolutely. He doesn't go for punchlines, though, as much. Yeah, uh, they're there. The LPM, for him, Last I don't think it doesn't mean slower. that much, which I think which I can't abide by. I need that someone who's hustling for every laugh, going yeah, but for it. I think you could do both. I yeah. think you could do both. Yeah, for sure. I think you could not go for the for the laugh. And well, like from the evolution is to understand that there's all these other every every time you get to that next plateau, mm. like you're where you should be. Yeah, you're where you should be ripping, ripping, trying to rip, all just the time. rip. That's and my then, that's my whole game. And then you then the the next step is usually rip with shit I want to talk about. Right, right, right. Not just stuff that I think is funny. But stuff that I really that give a fuck about. Because sure. there are guys who can rip, but they rip it with hacky material. Sure, sure, of course. And Shout out to Aaron Bird. <laughs> <laughs> she, I wasn't trying to. Listen, uh, Dante, that. one yeah. more. And I love Aaron. I don't give me one. I but, love Aaron. But. but but then the next level is to to get to the point where you're talking about what you want to talk about. Sure. You're ripping, and then you take those moments and you suck the. It's Chappelle silent. is a master at that. You, it's silent, and you build the tension, uh. and then it becomes not just that you're ripping. It's you do a what symphony. you want. It's yeah. a symphony. You, you have them by the balls. Yeah, Chappelle you're right. Sure. Take them on this journey, sure. and they feel sure. like they know you when sure. it's over. They, they, that, it's that, yo. It becomes an experience. Yeah. Yo. Absolutely. That makes total sense. That makes total What's sense. your swagger with the ladies nowadays? I'm fucking. Yeah. I'm out here. <laughs> yeah, he does. I'm the Dante Nero of brown dudes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm you know exactly what that means. But, uh, I I was a very not fuck guy. I was very Muslim, repressed, scared of women, terrified uh, God, the whole thing. You know. The crazy thing is, I get a lot of consultations for Muslims and Indian dudes. Repression, bro. Because it just repression. Plus, if if the, you know, if you back in the in the in the home country and your chick don't act right, you just hit her with a rock. <laughs> you see, you see, those, those skills don't translate. You think we're gonna go find a rock? We just take our shoe and hit him. <laughs> You think they're gonna do the, that kind of work? Go find a rock that hit our girl? <laughs> but but it's that. It varies and it's the, from the, place the, to place. The so slippers, you, depending. On how'd it. you deal with the repression? Are, are uh, I, still, I was in are it. Are you still Muslim or no? I'm, I identify as Muslim okay. on a spiritual level. I'm not codified. I don't pray five times a day. Uh, I, I eat pork sometimes. Uh, even that saying that though it felt weird. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like yeah, I still yeah, got yeah. the core of it. It's a little the bit. agency. The agency sense. It's over still you. there. So I, I relinquished a lot of that, and I have full agency of, over who I am. Yeah. And I came from a very scared boy yeah, yeah, yeah. into this person that I've kind of you know worked on, yeah. and then uh, now I'm trying to make up for lost time. I fucked late. I was like 21 yeah, yeah. when I first fucked, okay. and I was like you know, and then still I was scared. Uh, only after comedy, when I started getting more and more confidence from comedy, yeah. Because uh, eventually, I think Burr said this. He's like, when you first start comedy, you're cooler than your actual comedy guy, your persona. Mm-hmm. Then you become as cool. In real life, as your comedy persona, as then your, your comedy, comedy persona, persona becomes the guy that you want to be right. in real life. Right, right. So uh, that that was a long journey. So until, but as I got better at comedy, more girls would come through. And first, you're getting pussy through comedy, yeah. just from your set, not from who you are, sure, just from sure. your set. Yeah. And in fact, if you don't fuck them quick enough after your set, you, they lose the energy. They lose They're the gone. Yeah. gone. Don't talk to a girl. Look, here's a tip for any new comic that you're trying to get laid after a show: Do not go outside. Yeah. Stay in the bar. <laughs> Hang out in the bar. Enjoy that. Get Let the up, where you got other, post other up. people are sucking your dick. Post up, post up. Get friends to walk by you. It's a good <laughs> set, right? And then you start getting laid off your personality. Yeah, and that's and the a, a different that thing. Get, yeah, where the yeah. comedy becomes a different thing. And then well, here's what's interesting that the 
the personality is always there. You just don't believe in it. Right. You don't believe it's worthy, and so you act unworthy. Sure. You know, um, it, it's that that I get so much of that, and 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 because guys are just that. So when I first started recognizing girls. Uh-huh. I was in first grade. There was a little girl <laughs> named Damaris. She had these long ponytails yeah. and she was missing teeth, but the ones that she did have, you know, she didn't have, you know, she had baby teeth and shit. Sure. And and she was just, oh man, I just she was just I'm, 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 it feels creepy now because I can see her little patent leather nah, shoes. I'm hard. And like, <laughs> <let's go. laughs> but but I remember that and so and then I remember the little there was two little Little slutty chicks, little hot ones that we used to play RCF or R- like run, run catch. It was supposed to be run catch. RCK was run catch and kiss, but we called it RCF because we would run up behind them and hump them behind. Oh. We would dry hump them, so we called it RC fuck, right? Run catch and fuck, and they and we would make out with them and stuff. And then I remember, but I'm but all this was like second, third grade. <laughs> so the the. The, and I mean, we, I wasn't good at it. Different nothing. culture, bro. Right. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. But what happened was we were already getting, we weren't getting wet, but we were already socially, we were getting wet. Yeah. So when you start at 21, right, and you, you, you like 20, how old are you now? I'm 28. Okay, so it's seven years. Yeah. You're seven. Seven. I'm so, seven. So we're, I mean, you, you have a better understanding because you're more intelligent and more mature, mm. but you've only been doing this. For seven years. Yeah, 100%. 100%. And I, I, since I was five. You were fucking in the embryo. You know what I'm saying? I was, you were, it, you were. it was that interaction. And then <laughs> yeah. what happens, too, is you're 21, you got no skills, yeah. and these chicks who you're trying to fuck, they've been in the game since they were Longer. five. Here, here's what I got lucky at. I'm also brown. The girls I was fucking in the beginning, my first career, were also brown. Uh, okay. So brown girls also start late, a lot of them. Some of right. them were so hoes. You, 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 yeah. I, but the ones that attracted me, or yeah. I attracted them, because the ones that were already hoes weren't fucking brown dudes. Right. They, they were fucking, graduated. They were fucking either bad brown dudes who were already killing it, or yeah. white guys and black guys, right? Right, right. Right, they graduated yeah. from hoe school. Right? Yeah, yeah. Right. So I was getting the nice Indian oh, girls who the, wanted right. to be bad. Right, right. right. So we right. grew together. Wow. Okay, that's so, dope. Right? That's dope. Yeah. So the, my first girl that I ever got fucked by was a porn star kind of brown curl, right? Uh-huh. We would just go to her dorm, I'd fuck, blah, blah, blah. The, set, the next three or four, Pakistanis, uh, Bengalis, Indians, mm. who were like, you know, bas- hello, 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 mm. you know, Basmati. That's got to be the nice bridge because it's still it's still within the culture. Plus you so started it's not out with porn, porn, you know, yeah. So yeah. you kind of had to wait up. You had to lay. So it's it's weird because it kind of, I have, it's, sim- it's real similar yeah. because, because like I remember... So, so you know, I lost my virginity when I was 11, but it was, it was, then I had a, it was a Legend. drought, you know, there was Jeez, a big yeah, drought yeah. until like uh, 13 or yeah. 14. A drought. A drought. <laughs> until the That's flood. It started <laughs> picking up at 13, you know, like, 14. I was you know, late, was, I was a little yeah. late to the party I, I, at 13. I, 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 I don't was, think it's called a drought, I think it's called puberty, bro. Yeah, you were right, just yeah. growing as well, a human being. It was, <laughs> genitals it was were still trying to finish year, forming. Freshman year. Again, yeah, is when I when I was back in the game. Again, you da- forget. D- Dante's balls dropped during his first fuck. You know yeah, what I'm yeah. saying? <laughs> like Jesus. one ball dropped. That was oh. the weird part. The other one was like, I didn't. We weren't ready What's for this. What's going on? Are you good, Dante? You want cartoons? I thought we were no supposed cartoons, to wait bro? for pubic hair before we drop. But so then, are we doing this? Then I'm I'm Leroy a junior. I'm, I'm a junior in in high school, and I get this chick who's a virgin. Okay. Who was real cunty? Sure. Like came from a rich family. She was real cunty, but you know, just hated her father and <laughs> whatever. And and then I'm and I'm I you know I was her first, and so she had no reference. And so now I'm just fucking destroy. dildos, butt <laughs> horsetail, butt plugs, Benoit balls, <laughs> vibrating nipple yeah, clips, you uh, and magic wand. Uh, before I <laughs> sticking an air, air horn up a pussy. Yeah, I was, oh, I was, and I had like, literally. I remember there was, you know how you get those little shower bags when you get like a, a like Calvin Klein or something. You get like a with toiletry the, kit. Yeah, yeah. 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 Right, I, yeah. I had that, and then I used to keep all the sex toys in that, <laughs> and then it got Christ. bigger. Where I had a whole jam. Thirteen sport. or sixteen? Well, I was fifteen. Jesus. And then I, and then it got to be. A, then it was a duffel bag. Jesus. Mm. <laughs> then I would have extension cords and all kinds. It was crazy, bro. I would go to the to the spot. 
I've said this before. I used to go to the spot. Yeah. They knew me. Oh, we got this. We got something for yeah. you. And, you used and, to go in there the same way 007 used to go to Q's <laughs> office to get the newest like Dude, weapons. Here's, here's how bad it was. There and they push a, a, a yeah, button yeah. and the fucking dildos would come out. Huge, this is a wristwatch that turns into a dildo. There huge <laughs> porn things, like porn places with like, like, like a liquor mart, but just ah! porn. Shit. Sure. And and it would always have like the African dude would be the manager, <laughs> and you had Puerto Rican just girls and stuff in there. Can I help you with piercings and shit? Yeah, yeah. And so and I, then I, here's what I knew it was fucked because I went there and the dude said, "Hey, how you doing, man? Man, my boss is." Go-. And he starts talking to me about his boss at the porn shop mm. and how he feels like they're not respecting him as a as a worker. And I was like, dude, we not friends. I buy <laughs> dildos here. Yeah. And I was like, he felt so comfortable <laughs> that we had we had a friend. I'm not that was your like friend. Your ch- that hilarious. was like your cheers. We're like, hey, Dante. <laughs> they was gave me You want to go where everybody, everybody fucks your yeah, butt? Yeah. <laughs> It's crazy. Dante. And then, so, but, but it's called that, queers, though. The but, <laughs> but her, 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 like that period of time with her, I did so much dirty shit. To you, her you fixed her basically. You, you I destroyed yeah. her, you ruined her. Because I left for college. Oh my god! I left for college. Because the next guy's got to come in there, and she's oh, like, yeah, "Well, where's the was, vibrating nipple she place?" Was, <laughs> she was doing threesomes in the locker room and sucking. Jesus, right? Like she was crazy. Well, that was gonna happen regardless. You just accelerated that whole process. And then I said, and then the thing was, I when I left, when I broke up with her, I said, "Listen, I, let me just say this." <sighs> I don't want, you know, I know we're not together, yeah. but I was like, look, you can't do everything that you do with me with everybody sure, else. Sure, that's good, that's good. And she was like, fuck Re- you. Re-education. Da, 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 da. Yeah. And she was like, she was like, I was just being a dick. Yeah. But I was just trying to, like, then this is not going to be, and then every when I went back to the, re, like, back to the school, they were like, what the fuck did you do to her? And Dude. she was just fucking out. But then I went to college, was a frat boy, and then it just There's no worse. way that girl doesn't, isn't married to someone who doesn't make her come and doesn't think about you all the time. I don't know if she does things about. I mean, it's years. We're, we're talking. 30, I don't know if, if, I don't if know, that man. much if, if, uh, as a virgin. Yeah, maybe. Whatever maybe. the highest high of the I find that the kink is. Yeah. yeah, it's you're always kind of hoping that yeah. that returns. Uh, yeah, I was just anything <laughs> and I if, saw. If you're doing would, your job properly, you're leaving a lot of a lot in the wake. Sure, yeah. you sure. should be leaving a lot sure. of. Sure, I was in. I was in. You know how people go? Yeah, you know they think it's kink. And like, I get this. We're gonna get the strawberries and the whipped cream, and I would be like. Yeah, you got that's too much cleanup. Bro. Bring out yeah, the yeah. pit bull. Yeah, you're, <laughs> like, not, you're not gonna that's want too all much that. cleanup. Yeah. You don't want to do that. Then right. it's, the, the sheets stick to you, and it, right. Then you got you got to worry about infections. And it's that's, just not that's, good. Uh, it's just gonna be yeast infection because the cream and the milk. Cream and cream and they were like, "What's expired, wrong with you?" Like it's just, cream. but I had just yeah. been through there so much that I just had an understanding. Uh, and but. A lot you of just times, go like, you talk about it like a guy at Home Depot is giving yeah, the wrong. So You're like, no, 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 you detached. don't want to do that. What you want to do is go with side paneling. <laughs> <laughs> Instead, I got a nice dildo option for you, some lube. It's well, the same. Muslim thing. dudes and 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 Indian dudes yep. back in the Bengali, but yep. the, that culture is so strong. What's interesting is about is that, and then the, not just that, but immigrants. Yeah, they have a real rough time because immigrant parents suck. Yeah, they they They're suck. Horrible. Well, here's the thing: I, I think a lot of it's like survival. You're scared, right? right you don't right, have any right, of the culture, right, right? Right, right? All you see here is dangerous media, and you have no idea what's going on, right? right. Your wife is no English, right? Okay, what, what is she gonna do? Yeah. You actually look at her as less of a person because she has no English in America because you get brainwashed by the media. Right now, you have this English list bitch that doesn't speak any English, and so you can't respect her. Yeah, you can't even fuck her because you—that's the only girl you've ever fucked. Now you have a kid, two kids, three kids. You're you're working nine hours. Your and, whole um, life is sacrificed. You're working nine hours a minute. You know, yeah, yeah. you're angry at your kid, who's kind of coming up. He's he knows the world now. Yeah. A lot of angry immigrant dads are angry at their kids for knowing America better than they do. Uh-huh. You don't even realize that. Uh-huh. Also, the other yeah. thing is, immigrant parents get a little bit upset that you're Americanizing, which is real ironic because you're in America. They want you. They want you to hold. They on to brought the you tradition. here. They Bro. brought you here, Bro. and then when they start to lose control a little bit of like. That culture, it, they get you know resentful. It it's slightly. also fuck based. They're also scared they're, they're getting erased, right? Your progeny yeah. should be your legacy, right? Now, your legacy becoming American it's when you're not Indian. Your legacy. So I, I did all this. I'm not getting laid. And my son sucks. Like, it's a, it goes crazy. It's a little much. It's a little much. It's a good point. And then they just hit him. Yeah, I, I get it. And then the, that, that kid becomes a stand up comic. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's how that goes, bro. There's a lot of. That's why also there is still. 
some amount of arranged marriages and or an amount of fixing you up with somebody who yeah, is yeah. of that same culture, whether it's like Indian Akash, or Bengali. Akash used to just, just, he was like, I Virgin. definitely want to. Something to get an arranged match. He goes, definitely. He was like, I absolutely, I don't want the prop. I mean, Akash is a 30 year old virgin, too. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Like, he yeah, had yeah, some yeah. roughness, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and it was all, a lot of it was also like, I don't know, you know? But he was about the he was about he was, the life. He was like, I don't want to do it. Yeah. It's too hard to do it myself. Yeah, exactly. To do what? Oh, ma- get married. Yeah. With, with, with Indians, bro, the kink is fucking missionary. You know what I'm saying? That's the kink is actually doing it. Okay. You right, see right, what I'm right, saying? Right, like, right, right. we are, we're like, our th- our values are different in terms of tradition. It's very much work, work, work. Even back in India and Beng- Bangladesh, it's very work based. Sex is there. It's all obviously there. You know what I'm saying? But it's not Judging as by the fact that there's a billion of you. A billion yeah, of us. Fucking, here's that somebody. joke. Joke from '94 coming yeah, back yeah, in. There's a billion of us. <laughs> a billion of us. But here's the thing. It's like the sex as a as a religion when you put in religion to the culture, now sex isn't, isn't a thing you can explore. Right. Y'all did it right. I think Hispanics did it right. Y'all have the sex and sure, the I'm Christianity. Black. I'm black. What I'm up? Gonna, My bad. Gonna, My bad. Uh-oh. It's fine. It's fine. Uh-oh. I've never played a black guy in the movie, so it's fine. Uh, whatever. You're Mexican <laughs> to me, bro. Yeah, uh, that's how it works. But here's the thing. It's like, uh, uh, Hispanics, they have the heavy, heavy Christianity, yeah. but they all fuck at five. So uh, they, y'all yeah, yeah. figured out a way, not yeah. y'all, but y'all figured out a way to, yeah, yeah. to work those two angles together. From we that side, yeah, though, yeah. from yeah. that side on my mom's side, that culture has its problems, too, <laughs> because there's a lot of, like, weird expectations. I think Jenny, we had Jenny Saldana, and she talked about it. Yeah, where she, said, there is, she, said, she said this was interesting. You're supposed I always, to be sexualized? the smartest thing yeah. that Jenny's ever said, which is, <laughs> she said, you sexualize Latino women but you you hold them in. But they're but not you, supposed to be sexual, right? You sexualize them, but they can't be. Indians sexual. that too. So brown dudes will fuck all the white girls that so they can uh, yeah. marry a brown girl, uh, and that brown girl can't have had fucked before because brown girls are lionized. For but us. isn't that because you're trying to maintain it within the culture, sort of the family thing? It's so you could have you could go. No, no, it's also it's also a white hate. You know, you 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 kind of in your heart yeah. hate white girls or white mm. people. So you're okay going down in your mind having sex is going yeah, down. Yeah, right, right. And then I'll come so back I'll go up. Down, I'll but, go down with her with the shitties. Yeah, but I, so then I don't look at as, as slumming good people. it, basically. slumming yeah, it, which is so back up weird. For my angel. It's what? disgusting. It's disgusting. It's so yeah. weird. So how do you make that that decision, knowing that that's ingrained in the culture? What I do is bit. I fuck more brown girls. Oh, okay. So I can make everyone. A white girl. Every oh, you I see, see what I'm saying? You fucking. <laughs> That's a plan. Brilliant. That's a plan. That's fucking brilliant. <laughs> We're all trying to fuck. Uh, or is that you how you explain it to your mom and dad? As equal. You <laughs> can do that. Yeah. Or how about? Or you can do that. Or how about fucking fun? How about that? Yeah, yeah. Jesus Christ! But you don't feel any pressure or anything from the fam. I used to listen. Uh, the, the pressure was the moment that pressure stopped was when I uh, I got into med school in yeah. Texas. I was gonna go. We of course the, you did. I, you fuck damn right, bitch. You know, damn your right. Dad, your dad riding your all dad. the way. <laughs> <laughs> triple sevens, almost yeah. immigrant triple sevens, and then I'm like, so I, um, I when I cut that cord and I went to New York to do comedy, so I was gonna week before I left. So you were in medical school. I got in, so okay. I, I was supposed to go, uh-huh. you know, travel to med school for the four years. Week before I left, everything was set up, everything was good to go. I'm you enrolled. had been accepted. You were. Gonna it's all good. Wow. Did your dad write a check yet? Or? Not yet. Okay. Uh, they, we had a delayed thing because I knew would have just murdered you. It, oh uh. my god, I don't want to think about that. Uh, and then the week before I left, I was like, Dad, I'm doing comedy in New York. You, whatever thing you think happened, happened. The level of intensity, the level of pain, pots and pans. The screaming, the, the yelling. The screaming, oh, the whole thing. What right? son? I have no what? son. Son, who son? Give me <laughs> knife. I'll kill you with my own body. You know. <laughs> so all that happened. They came around. Because my dad didn't say I love you or support you. What he did was he bought some luggage, new luggage, and he left it at the door. He's like, that's, that's me that's knowing I'm, yeah, uh, that he supports me. Approval. See, I'm, he's fucking crazy. Yeah. But, um... What that that once I cut that cord, it yeah. was all done. It was all done. I'm yeah. no longer living under any sort of guise of what I can say. I'm doing all the fuck jokes I want. I, wait, I'm doing all the fuck jokes I want. Yeah. yeah. I just was like, I'm I'm gonna be my realest self because I can't go to New York and not be a real person. Right. Because I I made New York more than what it was. It's just a city. But, yeah. then but I made other, it like if I'm fake, they're gonna kill me. You the know? other thing is you had to kind of make it on your own then. Yeah. Because there is no going. Hey pops, can you yeah. help me out? Hey pops. But what's the, up? the other part of that is that it you you. So this is an interesting thing. You end up, you got to, st- I don't know if you've gotten to this point, but you got to not fight them. Yeah. Yeah. Because there's no fight no more. Yeah. yeah. So Definitely. you you find this about, um, and this is something else I find about a lot of immigrant comics, is they're, they're 
because their parents wanted them to be engineers and doctors and so on, and they're not. It's a lot of them. Their parents are already gone, yeah. and they're still. still angry, yeah. I mean, no. you're not gonna tell yeah. me what to do. It's dog. It's, Yo, motherfucker is down the, six feet under. The cop asked you, to, "Could you move out of the bus stop?" You know what I mean? <laughs> and you're like, "Dog, what, what the fuck is you? What are you doing? You ain't my real dad. Do you want fries or not?" Dude. <laughs> It's yes. it's yeah. so it becomes this kind of thing, and 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 it's funny because you have to reassess what the battles are yeah. because you this agency is over, and it's like when you said, "Oh, I feel that I, I, I'm not I eat pork sometimes," and yeah. you were like, "Oh, I feel that." It's you have to reassess based on all the information that you've learned so far, yeah. and then create those guidelines and those rules again from yeah. a perspective of, of knowledge. Definitely. I, I, I we, did, we did get past that. Me and my parents are cool now. My Again, it's all love and growth. Uh, but my mom, if she knew exactly what I talked about, it would really break her heart like, in right. a really real way. Right, right. One time she asked me if I've had sex. She doesn't even know I've had sex yet. Mm-hmm. This is a, but she probably does, but in her mom's soul, she can't know. So what did you tell her the truth? She didn't, even, she didn't even say, do you have sex? She couldn't even say sex. She's like, Usama, do you sleep? And I'm like, six hours a day, baby. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and my mom's like, what? It's like, that's the idea. <laughs> like, she's like, please, don't don't tell me you don't sleep. Do you sleep? And I, I lied. I was like, you know, like, mom, I, I don't, I don't. <laughs> He's like buddy love yeah. in the bloody <laughs> professor. <laughs> Let me tell you yeah, something, sweetheart. Hey, yeah. look, take a picture that looks longer. <laughs> it lasts longer. I wish, bro. <laughs> I wish. Uh, but you know what I'm saying? Like, now it's one of those, like, if she found out, it would break her heart. But I was like, mom, this is who I am. You know, my dad knows it's all good. But uh, my mom is just a classic Bengali mom yeah, yeah. whose heart would be broken if she knew my dick was ever in somebody. <laughs> but it's okay. Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. She'll deal with that when, when, when she deals with that. We'll deal with it together. It's all good. It's all love. Yeah, yeah. But uh, not being your actual self, there's no time for that in New York. Oh, it's and so painful, comedy. too. Yeah. It's so painful. I see this all the time where people yeah. are not being themselves. And it's yeah. just, I'm like, that must be exhausting. Every day. Every day. You there are, his gas, bro. Hold on. There are people. In, and even successful people in the comedy business that are not. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. That are inauthentic. More yeah. often than not, I think. Yeah. yeah. And so but, there is time for that in New York. It's just is you're going to be miserable well, doing it. Here's, <laughs> this you're is, not going to be happy. Yeah. This is something I was, I've was i been thinking about, and I wanted to talk about this. Sure. And I wanted to specifically talk to you about it, sure. too. It was because, so, like, your your religion uh-huh. was an intricate part of your life and sure. you're growing um, and you have come to see that a lot of the agency and the and the, do- the dogma of it is bullshit. I, I don't know if I'm going to say bullshit because it seems bullshit is a stronger word. I mean, it's, not, it's, not, it's whatever it is, bro. It's, you know, uh, but you're not following it in that way yeah. because you don't really feel. Do you progressively move away from it, or <laughs> do you just find a way to hold on to it because it becomes yeah. your? You right, understand right. what I'm asking? The, the more anal I do, the less Islam I feel. I'll say that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll say that. Although I do anal to the east. I do have that yeah, still. Yeah, you, know facing, yeah, you, face you got to. You got well, yeah, to. Yeah. You're supposed to do that. <laughs> we all do. I learned that when I was six. <laughs> well, Dante, you lay down a, a rug before. I do <laughs> lay down a rug. Right. I mean, one time I did on a on a, on a, a minivan, uh, vinyl minivan oh, seat okay, that yeah, had been yeah, taken sure, out. Sure. But I did lay a fitted sheet over That's it. That's good. There you go. Come on, I'm a gentleman. I'm going to that I know. Uh, it wouldn't say that I see it as all bullshit. I see myself more as a very tr- uh, regressive Muslim, a very tr- like a transgressive Muslim who, who doesn't follow the rules. So I, I consider myself a Muslim who's very bad at Islam, but that doesn't affect me in a negative way. So I don't say it's all bullshit. I think all those techniques and uh, codes and ways of life could be good for some people to create sure. humility and to create a sense of like I'm not the only person in this world. What for some people. Or, or you could just la, 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 know la, la, la. that you could know that you're not you're in this world with other people. Sure. So sure. But, but there this, are Muslim, well, I, with Muslims because I, I dated a girl who was a Muslim who you you forget because we get this idea here in the West that like that it's either you're Muslim or you're not. But it's no different than Catholicism. No, I, I agree. That there but, are people but, but, but who I practice guess what I'm talking about right. heavily. Because I was Catholic. I grew up. Yeah. I was an altar boy. The whole yeah. shit went to Catholic that school. That is so crazy, dude. Was, so. <laughs> Yeah. What's crazy about and then it, the duffel but, bag of sex toys. It, so you know, <laughs> but you but you you compartmentalize so that you can maintain the, the level of comfort of these things that you. But yeah. it, it just as a it, I guess I feel like I, I don't know how to say this, that, but I, shit on it. If you got shit on, I, I, I don't no, give a fuck. No, I feel yeah. like you're not gonna be a Muslim. 
<laughs> like, well, at I, this point, I, I'm not Muslim, basically. But I mean, but, I feel like you're gonna. Be, you think so, you're being atheist. Yeah, because at some if point? this, then you can't be, you can't be authentic. Okay. And have real logic and reasoning, and take these things that you know are just don't okay, okay. make sense. I'll, I'll 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 come at you with this. Uh, it's, it's I see where you're coming from. Yeah, yeah. For me, it's not uh, bullshit or logic or whatever it is. For me, I see all these books, right? And I see, okay, so whatever they were written, whoever written it, God or not, they are tomes that affect the people in a very big way. That's the lo- most logical way to think about these things. They're very, eff- very effective at, at influencing people, sure. whatever these were, right? Okay. I look at it more in a humility way, like, what do I know? And then go from there. I identify as Muslim because culturally that's how I grew up. And that will always be a part of me. Even if I'm atheist as fuck, I'll be a Muslim. Does that make sense? Yeah, In a way, yeah, yeah, yeah. because uh, there's but, principles that are right. that are great about about Islam. That, right. that but those principles that are great about Islam right. don't make you a Muslim. It just makes you a human. Sure, 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 it makes sure. You a great person. I'm with you. And so, so what I'm saying is, I, I so cause see, I went through the transition where yeah. I became an atheist. Sure. And then I kind of I would always make excuses, like guys would be calling me about game, and then also yeah. so. So what happened was I, I started watching these atheist debates. Okay, Dawkins and shit. Chris Hitchens. Hitchens, Hitchens the man, dude. Hitchens will Sam fuck you Harris, up. Sam yeah. Harris, uh, Krauss. <laughs> um, Hitchens and even the Hunty, and and there's a lot of them are good. You know, really with Jeff. It's a lot of them that suck. That are too smart. They're clever. Mm-hmm. And, they want to subjugate and not actually teach. Right, yeah. and, and some of them just don't they're, they're because they're at a level that they think everybody else is, and which is which is what I call the white girl syndrome. Is when a white girls doing comedy, and yeah, me and my mom, and like I don't give a fuck about you and your mom, and just because you think I, you give a fuck about, it, you think I should give a fuck about. It's it. annoying that you think that I would give a fuck about it. It's actually no, yeah, as in like to, to the white girl. Right, right, it's right. Offensive right. that you think that I care about your life that much. Exactly, yeah. and so. So as I as I transgressed through this thing where I kept trying to contort to fit Christianity in my life, sure. it just got to the point where I couldn't I, I couldn't be authentic. I couldn't say my comedy was authentic, that I was authentic, that women when when I talk to women and I say this is who I am, this is my word and be authentic mm-hmm. and know that the, the the I couldn't square that round peg. So if you're telling me you know the the stories of the Bible, and I get right. dudes who call me and they want to debate me on the. You look if you can't debate me with faith, yeah. because faith is believing something that you can't prove. Right. And I'm not saying that there is no God. I'm just saying I haven't learned, an, I haven't seen any evidence that gives me a reason to believe that sure. anymore. And if and with 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 extraordinary claims require extraordinary proof. That's okay. Sure. Re, all these things are reasonable. Sure. Sure. And but when people People are religious. They're willing to contort that in a way so that they can still stay in their belief system without rejecting their beliefs for fear of going to hell or heaven or whatever, right, whatever the right. fuck it is. And so there's a there's a, a, a the, the thing is your game gets stronger, your respect gets stronger mm-hmm. when your integrity it affects everything you do. Okay. Okay. And so what? So I, there's an analogy I say. There's people who sweep up the, the kitchen floor. I use this all the time. People, you sweep up the kitchen floor. At the end of the kitchen floor, you use the dust plant, and there's this little line of dust. Mm. And there's people who take that line of dust and sweep it under the refrigerator. And there's dudes that go get a piece of typing paper or, or, or copy paper, and they pick up that little line of dust. You want to be the guy who picks up the dust Mm -hmm. when nobody's looking you don't leave the line of dust because that is the thing that makes you bulletproof and because you're so authentic that it's it's undeniable and so no matter how you come at me i could go i don't sweep the dust under the refrigerator i see where you're coming from i I like everything you said right what what's separating my I, I see where you your journey you of where, it's going, yeah. where you're coming from and where you ended up, right? right. Yeah. What where my journey and where I'm ending up is different, and I'm I, I'm actually wagering that it's not as it's not more inauthentic than what you're saying. Right. What well, I don't know if you were implying that I was having a sliver of inauthenticity left. No, no. What I'm I'm, right. I'm not saying that. Here's what I'm saying. I'm 53 years yeah. old. It was a journey, and it was a journey that I had to break the bonds of those of the programming. Uh-huh. 
and I see you're on that journey. Sure, sure. Which is why you're funny. Right. Which is why you do better with mm-hmm. women. Which is why people like you the way that you mm-hmm. do. Which is why all the things. And so at some point in time, I had to reconcile that either I'm going to be all that I can be. Okay, okay. I see where you're going. Yeah. Do you know what I'm saying? So my, my take is my the Islam that I look at. It's not the code. It's not the hate gays, all that, whatever yeah, yeah, that logic yeah, the is. The dogma. It's just the love for what it has done for people. Yeah. That's it. It's just, that's I what. You. Right. Sure, I was yeah. at that point. So, right. I absolutely so was at I, the same point. Right. So, you're, who knows? Maybe at one point. I mean, that'd be insane. If I did stop calling myself Muslim, I'm going to call you the first moment that happened. But, yeah. bro, how the fuck did you know, right? But. Well, it's, you know what it is? It's, right. it's what I call, it's a personality equation. So it's like linear, I'm quite sure you know linear sure. equations. Uh, you, <laughs> I know you, linear you, stuff, yes. X and y How are, dare you, bro? Yeah, this is my culture, bro. It, it, you know, you have, you have the X, X and the Y planes. And, <laughs> That's and like then, if you were like, if I was like, have you seen Fridays, right? Have you seen Fridays? <laughs> have you seen Fridays? Have you seen Fridays? <laughs> Dude, <laughs> and offensive. And you, you, you plot the points, you put a line between it, and then it goes infinity. Yeah. So the trajectory of where you're at, it's obvious it's almost, I don't I can't see you not getting I to that you. point. I, maybe you're also seeing a little bit of you in me right yeah, now. Yeah, I do. Right, I do. I do. Um, and that's one of those th- things. Was like maybe it's true, and I, I can't see in the future. But I've seen you know? nuclear physicists right. who are still Christians. Yeah, and they kind of just compartmentalize, and they they so they still can have their faith. It's just it has nothing to do with logic, reason, or fact. Right, and they hold on to that because it's comforting. But I'm also okay with that because. Um, I'm like, what do I know? I'm I'm okay being sort of dumb in the cosmos. Yeah. So you know, and I'm also a very logical person. So if I didn't, yeah. If my heart didn't believe anything was afterwards, I would stop it, rationalize it, and take it out immediately. That's what I'm. That's what I'm saying. Just so what it, I see. So part of me is still like, I don't know, and I'm okay with that. Maybe later I'll yeah. I'll need something yeah. more definite. Yeah, you're done. <laughs> You're sure, done. Sure. You're All done. Right. I you mean, you're me. done because right. I I I know I'm, everything I'm, that you're saying. It was if it's what you said. Yeah. Okay. All right. I'll, yeah. I'll, 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 I, and I rec- yeah. I tried to reconcile it. Sure. Then I was like, I don't believe in the dogma, but I, you know, right. I mean, All I right. understand there's good things in it, and and then, but then you then you realize that any inauthenticity, like you can't be, you can't be, you can't be just not Islamophobic. Mm. You have to be anti-Islamophobic. Mm. You can't be and you can't just be not not homophobic. You have to you 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 learn that. The righteousness of that is not just to not believe it. Right. It's to stand against it in every step of the way. Sure. And so when I get guys who listen to the show and they... <coughs> that's and, my SARS. And they get corona. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm SARS. I'm going old school. The There comes a time where any of the inauthenticity... Like, you can't tell me that you, you think that Trump is telling the truth mm. there's so what you're doing is you're reconciling contorting huh. because of the because well basically because trump has weaponized his whiteness your you don't whiteness. you don't like gray at all you don't like a little gray yeah but it, i it, like gray i like gray yeah. in the but not in the context of truth okay so it's different but is the truth that gray is sometimes i'm like nah, really nah. i, I People, people's behaviors yeah. and attitudes can be feelings, gray. behaviors, attitudes, huh. preferences. All I'm into all okay. of that gray. But the truth, truth. The truth, truth is the truth, dog. Huh? Okay, no, no. Like yeah. I could say, you know, when you, people say gender is fluid. Um, th- look, there is only sex is binary, but how you perceive yourself is fluid. Both of those things could be true. You, you you have two for sure. Well, well, here's here's my take: is that truth is truth, right? But there's a gap between truth and the entirety of human knowledge. So I agree. you know what I'm saying. So what is truth is still ahead of the entirety of human knowledge but at here, some point. But, here's the, but here's, here's the point: as I as I know more, I deserve I, I I reserve the right to do better, and so my truth mm. now is not going to be what my truth is. Sure. Six months. From That's now. important to be and, elastic with it. hundred percent. So I am yeah. elastic because yeah. I don't know everything, but but this is the truth that is my truth. And you know now. who's not elastic, and that's why his comedy suffered is fucking Nick DiPaolo. He has not been elastic with his views, and, and he's a liar. And now. he's <laughs> now he's a liar. And he's a liar now because he's lying about things that yes. he knows is true. And it's the left, the left, the left, exactly. the left. He was amazing. Yeah. 
Yeah. But that because his lack. truth, even though he was racist, yeah. his truth was his his honest. That was his yeah. honesty. Yes. So even when he said something that was, it was honest. Yeah. Where he came, that's what he thought, and so you. That's what I can't be. I can't be a guy who is that good, not too rigid to grow, and the mm. truth let in. Yeah. Well, yeah. you get. You, it's it's harder to be yeah. flexible and malleable. Yeah. You know. That's why the corona is killing old people because their because <laughs> their 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 immune system yeah. can't adjust quick enough, and that's why it kills them. I like and it. That's what I like it. That's what's gonna happen with Nick. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, thank you. Uh, Much love, man. Give me all your all your social uh, media, all your good shit. Follow me at Usama bin Laughing. Follow me at Islam is the one true religion. <laughs> uh, follow me at Your Mango Bay. It's a podcast. Everyone, my best boy, Pranab Bahari. <laughs> Uh, we go crazy on some Indian shit. Follow us. Uh, just follow me. It's good shit. And you can also get us um, at 1-800-Guantanamo. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Call it now, baby. Uh, thanks, dog. Thanks for coming, man. Love, I appreciate love. you. Of course. Love you, man. Love you, man. Um, Harry, talk to me. Uh, follow all my social media at Harry Turjanian. I'm posting some good stuff. I could use some new followers, especially <laughs> since we're not going to be working for a while. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, We're going to get it together, though. We'll, we'll get be together. doing a show, but I'm saying comedians will not be doing much. So that's where all my cool stuff is going to be. So come and check it out, out please. Uh, at Harry Turjanian. Or I'm eating cookies. I'll send the the cookies. No, you shouldn't have. But. I don't want your um, Zars cookies, bro. Um, <laughs> no. Uh, Dante Nero. The, the Instagram, the Dante Nero. Uh, Facebook, Dante Nero. Twitter, Dante Nero. Uh, don't forget the one-on-one consultations. Uh, click on DanteNero.com. These cookies are good. <laughs> yeah, I, I know. Um, DanteNero.com. Click on Consult. You can book some time with me. Uh, GYBB, get your balls back. WWDD, what would Dante do? The sexual revolution is being podcasted. Yo, I love y'all. If you like us, give us a five-star review, and we'll try and read it on the air. Um, tell a friend. We out, B.